right. Well, our next question, Jim. Another one sent in many, many times on Twitter and via email to cornydrivethru at gmail.com. Have you been following? And I hadn't until I saw these emails and I clicked on some of these things this morning and read some of these things. Have you been following the apparent Leo Rush Mark Henry feud? I have not been following the apparent. I didn't know that Leo Rush and Mark Henry were mad at each other. I don't think. Has this been months ago or is this new? Didn't they say something to each other now that I think about that on Twitter one time a few months ago? I Somehow, think there was something about Mark Henry saying that he took Leo Rush aside or he tried to talk to him uh, about how to fit in or how to exist within the WWE system, and Leo Rush really didn't want to hear it from him at that time. I think, and I may be paraphrasing, I may be getting it wrong completely. I'm not sure. Something like, well, but something like nobody was. I think you, I, there was something to that. I think Mark had given him some advice or whatever, and it didn't, didn't pan out, but nobody was motherfucking each other or anything. Well, I have an article from TMZ about this, but before we get there, Leo Rush on Twitter put out a couple tweets. Let me play these for you. The first one was, hey, Mark Henry, this needs to be addressed because you out here still lying on my name to this day. And then there's a short <laughs> audio clip here. Let me play this. This is Mark Henry speaking. What happened? And that happened between me and Leo Rush. I mean, if you want to count me trying to help him navigate You know, he got the right to say he don't need my help. And that's the short clip there. And while that clip is playing, Leo Rush had typed. That, that was a controversial statement there, boy. Inflammatory words there. Leo Rush typed on the screen. Yeah, but you don't have the right to say that I lied to you and try to bury me on your podcast, shaking my head. And then Leo Rush, Rush uh, had several other tweets. Don't even know why I'm entertaining this. Keep my name in your mouth, if you please. Uh, is that supposed to be like that? Keep my name in your mouth. I don't know. You literally have nothing better to do than continue to talk shit on a situation that happened over a year ago about a 25-year-old who just lost his damn job. Sorry, guys, but I've been holding my breath for way too long. People like this need to get called out. It's sickening. It's disappointing. And it's extremely discouraging. I love my fans, and I pray that one day in the future... The state of this kind of matter progresses. And this is why African-American talent on the biggest platform will continue to not have equal opportunity because people like you constantly tear down your own people. Who? Wait a minute. He's talking to Mark like that? Yeah. A damn shame, honestly. And at this point, Mark Henry replied with, well, uh, yeah, uh, tired of the bullshit. If you want to talk, put me on your podcast so we can have a conversation for the world to hear. And Mark Henry replied with the call-in number for his show. <laughs> and then on TMZ, I guess it took Isn't, a little bit of a turn here. Well, what are your initial thoughts? I, well, I would, I would say that it was a work and they were trying to stir shit up and, you know, get people to listen to the podcast, except that apparently from all accounts, Leo Rush really is a fucking idiot and just you know goes off and says shit all over the place correct so um i don't I know, don't know. I, I don't know i mean other than this i don't know i, I could just be unknowing about because what is inflammatory there and here's the well i don't know what he said on well, the, well, we don't know all, what he said on the show that's the other thing well but it, mark talks like that mark mark is not inflammatory as a matter of fact mark which i'm i'm actually still pissed at him because over the fucking fried chicken and the motor scooter in Ethiopia, when he was like, Oh, Jim, I came up, blah, blah, blah. He could have easily said, well, Cornette's, you know, uh, telling jokes 24 hours a day. And most of them are old and that's just Jim, but he doesn't mean anything by it. Cause he, we've known each other for 20 years, but he, but he was, uh, cause anything to do with any type of racism, Mark's a very nice guy and he's not inflammatory and he doesn't cut promos on people. So he's obviously not going to be a racist to Leo rush. And I I can't believe that he said much more inflammatory that he just, if he was going to say anything inflammatory, he would have said it in that clip you just played. Well, here's an article from TMZ. The headline, WWE legend Mark Henry threatens to sue wrestler Leo Rush. <laughs> Stop defaming me. And then in the article, Mark Henry has a warning for ex-WWE wrestler Leo Rush. Stop defaming me or my Harvard-educated lawyers are going to file a lawsuit against your ass. Uh, earlier this week, Leo Rush, who has been released by WWE, fired off a barrage of tweets attacking the Hall of Famer. 
accusing Henry of torpedoing black wrestlers' careers, writing, this is Oh, why for I'm... fuck's sake. TMZ Sports talked to an extremely upset Mark Henry, who said Rush's comments are straight up nonsense. Quote, if you go down to the performance center in NXT, probably 25, I think, people of color in the facility, probably about 80 plus percent of them, I helped get there. I mean, it's completely opposite. And then that's the end of that quote. So if it's true, why did, excuse me, so if it ain't true, why'd Rush write what he did? Mark tells us. Because he's a fucking mental case. Mark tells us. Oh, I thought you were asking me. No, no, no. (laughs) Mark tells us Leo's clout chasing, using his name and fame to promote his music career. Quote, he knew that I get a lot of attention. I have a lot of followers. And he released the album or song or something. And he wanted to use that to get some attention. Get some wait, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, Leo Rush is a musician, too. Is he is he going to do a fucking duet with Enzo Amore? You know, that would maybe, be something. Maybe they could redo You Don't Bring Me Flowers anymore, like Barbara Streisand and Neil Diamond. Islands in the Stream. There you go, Kitty and Dolly. <laughs> Can you imagine Enzo Amore and fucking Leo Rush? Islands in the stream, that is what we are, because everybody threw us off the bank and hope we'd drown in the stream. Consensual we just out here. Oh, God. Well, it, it continues here. Uh, Mark is adamant. If Rush would have just asked for help, he would have plugged his music, no problem. But what he did and said was way out of bounds. Quote, if he would have called me, I would have done it anyway. We would have just worked it. I would have really talked it up. We would have made world news. But now he said something slanderous. And you can't question my blackness. Like nobody can question my blackness. (laughs) Pull my black card. No, not allowed. Nobody. Mark's so mad he tells us he's seriously considering filing a lawsuit. Quote, my lawyer went to Harvard. I don't know what kind of lawyers he's dealing with. But I got those <laughs> Ivy League people around me, and they're pissed. But there is one thing Leo Rush can do before he finds his ass in the courtroom. Say sorry, and really mean it. And the final quote here from Mark Henry, he needs to apologize. I know Mark very well, and I believe that he said every single one of those things, and they're all true. And I think Leo Rush is a fucking mental case, and I've been saying that since they signed him first, right? Remember when he's the one that took the fucking power bomb off the roof of something in some garbage wrestling show in New Jersey as his farewell and then no-sold it so he could pop up and take a bow? So he's always been a fucking idiot. And 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 once again, a slappable face and a million-dollar talent if they'd have made him an asshole manager that you wanted to fucking see and you would pay to see get the shit kicked out of him but he wants to be a fucking wrestling superstar at 5 2 and 140 and with a goddamn obviously a fucking screw loose because he's always fucking torpedoing his own self because nobody gives a shit whether he's around or not when he's running his mouth i can run my mouth because i'm here at home and i don't give a shit whether i go anywhere but him he still wants a fucking job, allegedly. I'm sure he'll do the same thing in music as he's done in wrestling. Piss people off. I do think, though, there's a little bit of hypocrisy here because Mark Henry's saying, you know, you could have just come right to me. You should apologize to me. You should have come to me and talked to me. On TMZ, at TMZ Sports, you know, from this article I just read, after the starvation joke, Mark was so upset that he didn't call you. He didn't call Stacy. He has your numbers. He knows you guys no, very St- well. Stace actually did text him, though, when she heard it and said, seriously? What the fuck? Well, he ran to TMZ uh, yeah. instead, which, you know, again, if you're, you know, that, that is a little bit of a bullshit move. You got a problem with Jim and oh, you know, Jim, yeah. go, go to you. Don't go to TMZ. I, I didn't say it wouldn't. And he's got my phone number. But, you know, I wasn't going to apologize because it was, you know, not something I was going to apologize for. But I would have told him I didn't mean anything bad by it. But at any rate. Um, in this situation, Mark's right though. What the fuck? The guy just goes off and says, oh, you're a racist. Did you fucking bury black people? Because he told the guy, he gave him some advice. The guy didn't listen to it. Eh. Leo Rush looks to me like a guy that would not listen to people telling him what not to do because elsewise he wouldn't have done a bunch of the shit that he's done. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people in wrestling right now are very successful who have 
made that their calling card where all the veterans told us things to do. We didn't want to do it the old way. We wanted to do it our way. And then we found a billionaire's son. And now we can do it our way. <laughs> yes. And now we've proven that it works as long as you've got the ability <laughs> to get a network TV show to fucking do. Uh, anyway. Uh, but I, I will say one thing to Mark Henry. You may have Harvard lawyers, but you don't have you, you may have lawyers with ivy or weeds or dandelions or all kinds of things growing over them, but you do not have the lawyer. You have a lawyer, but we have the lawyer. Ladies and gentlemen, the consigliere of the cult of Cornette is the lawyer, the man that you should think of, the name. If you have any problem or have to navigate the treacherous shark infested waters of the legal system, the attorney that you should call. Stephen P. News. If you need to see an outlaw mud show or two, those are the rest.